This is my second attempt at making the uh, ceiling fan motor. The uh, first one I made, uh, I broke one set of coils and um, I only had seven magnets in them. So this time I put 14 magnets, um, no south, no south. Um, the gap, unfortunately, is not even. Uh, at some point it's wider, at some point it's uh, narrower. Uh, it could be like a, an eighth at the narrowest and uh, almost up to a quarter inch at the widest. So, uh, I uh, hooked it up to a battery uh, and you have the rectifier here. Uh, with a voltage doubler. I don't know if uh, the voltage dub doubler would uh, actually decrease your amps. Uh, maybe it, it will. Um, when I measure the open voltage it uh, came to uh, like a hundred volts DC uh, with a quick spin. Uh, I don't expect a lot of amps from this setup. Uh, but when I did uh, charge the battery before with the hand spin. Uh, it did increase the voltage of this little battery uh, a little bit. Uh, this is like a uh, what they call a pocket generator. It's a 5 amp hour battery with a uh, AC uh, inverter. So now I'm gonna give it a little quick spin uh, to see what kind of uh, oops I think I just disconnected one of the wires okay let's try again you see 23, that's 0.23, uh, 0.26 uh, amps, that's like 260 milliamps. So I think this is probably what it will give you on basically one set of coils. I have four wires coming out. I have four wires coming out. And um, I only con connected one set of coils. The other set of coils will probably give a similar uh, amount of amperage. Uh, I didn't connect uh, the two sets because I only have one rectifier here. So if it gives me, uh, if it gives me. 220 milliamps. If I do have two sets of coils, if they are working nicely, it would give me uh, 0.5 amp, uh, which is not too bad considering the gaps that I have on the uh, alternator here. I would assume that having a narrower gap, you would have a lot more power but then the uh, unit would probably be much more difficult to turn because of the cogging and uh, and the vibration so so that's what it is for now uh, I don't know what I'm gonna use this for and what kind of uh, rotor I'm gonna make for it but at least I know it works now um, the spacing between the magnets are a little irregular too as you can see uh, the magnets are very difficult to work with work with it's not as if you can um, just take the magnets out and then put them back in you can uh, easily pinch your fingers so I'm happy with the way it is now so I'm not gonna do any more 
modifications for now. Of course, I have a cover I haven't put that on yet. Uh, thanks for watching.